Hey guys, welcome to another Critique the Community. Today is very exciting because we are only going to be critiquing, and I don't even know if we're gonna be critiquing, we're just gonna be looking at five star rated images. So Patrick and I went on the community and we just picked out some of our favorite pictures. It's also really exciting because you and I are back. We are back. We've been gone for a while, so I know you guys are happy to see us. Exactly. Even uh, though the quality's probably going down. <laughs> so these are all, they're not, they're technically five star images, but you would have to be rated 100% five star for it to actually be a five star. So these are yeah. four to five stars. Yeah. These make up the, the highest rated images in our community. Yeah. A and, small sample. Yeah. And these are ones that just Pat, stood out to Patrick and I, and uh, we're really excited to look at these. But if you want to be part of the next critique, we're just going to do black and white images. So anything you want that's black and white, you can go to the description of this video, click on the link, and you can start uploading your black and white pictures right away. All right, so normally we have the highest rated image, get a free tutorial. This time they're all gonna be high rated images. And the way our community works, whichever one has the least amount of ratings would probably be the highest rated image, which isn't fair. So let's just pick a random number. Uh, lucky number seven. When we get to number seven, you will get a free tutorial. Here's the first image. I don't think there's any reason to rate these. We're gonna give them all five stars, probably. Four or five stars. These yeah. are, you know, the top level. This is one of the first images I remember ever being on our community. When we started our community, what, two or three years ago? Yeah. Uh, this one and another image, I think, from this same session are two images that are burned into my mind. I don't even know what to say about this. It's so awesome. Everything about it is perfect. I mean, the color on this is unbelievable. You have those bluish teal and orange tones that everybody loves right now. This model is fantastic. Her whole styling is perfect. The retouching is great, but it's not over the top. The pose is so good. The mood she's giving off is so good. I mean, this photograph is like, just even the couch kind of matches I know, I know. the outfit. And then what's going on in that background? I mean, is that is that just a flash on the wall back there? Is that or like some... a hot light, or you know, it looks like event lighting or something that's just there in the corner? I... But I can't tell if the background was a set that they built, or if this is just you know a natural location where you have kind of the the tapestry or the you know the wallpaper that's got the texture on it. Mm -hmm. It's really cool, regardless of you know how they did it. Yeah, do you have anything else to say about it? I mean, I love it. Um, what is your thoughts on models not looking at the camera? I, I love that she's giving this kind of candid look. I think like so many <clears throat> photographers make you engage the camera and this is kind of breaking that rule. I don't even know if that's a rule. Yeah, it's I don't just know a common, a rule. It's just a common thing that you see with a lot of pictures I mean, like this. I everything about this I love. This is one of my favorite pictures on the whole community. So I don't care if she's looking at the camera or not. This is working for me. I love it. Community gives us 4.49 uh, stars, which is incredibly high. All right, so we've decided we are going to rate this. We've started debating with this next shot. So let's go ahead and rate these images from now on. We'll see what we think. All right, I give this one four. I'm actually in between a three and a four on this one. You give this one a five. So you would say this <clears throat> might not even belong in this critique. This um, is a little lower than where we were trying to go, which is like a four to five. He, here's 4. my issue with this, with this picture. I feel like, obviously, the picture's incredible. I mean, goodness, getting a, a bird of this size coming out of the water with a fish in its mouth, it's unbelievable. Um, the, my, the reason why I don't like it as much as probably some other ones that I'm going to see in here is because I just feel like this was probably done with one of those laser camera things. And, it, you know, I've, I've just seen a lot of pictures like this and it looks like very direct flash. It looks very poppy to me and flat. It doesn't look like a directional light. And so for, for those reasons, it just doesn't feel quite as moody maybe as some other pictures of animals that I've seen, but obviously you disagree, you give it five. Yeah, I don't think the lighting is moody lighting, but I think it does exactly what it needs to do. It freezes action, it allows the colors to pop, you have a nice blurry background, you have a pretty good composition and you have action going. I just remember when we critiqued the wildlife portfolios in the past, a lot of the images weren't that great. And I'd look at this and I'm like, man, this thing pops off on the community. And I think when we see the rating, this at the moment is in 
one of the top 50 images on our website. It's an amazing so image. The Don't community get me wrong. loves it. I yeah, can yeah, see yeah. where you could say, oh, if you're going to go through this effort, put the strobe light off to the side or do something a little bit different with it. But I think if you're just going to go for a solid image of this animal capturing his eating habits in a graphic way that could be used on a ton of wildlife platforms, in my opinion, it doesn't get a whole lot better than this. I, th I think that's fair. I think that's fair. And, and, and to be honest, the images that I've seen, I've seen a lot of images of the bird coming down into the water and they're strobing the bird right as the beak hits the water. Yeah. And you know, they're unbelievable. This is unbelievable in another way. So, uh, you know, I, I feel like the lighting direction may not be quite as interesting as I would like, but what's actually happening in the quality of the photograph that they've captured here is amazing. And I think through this portfolio review, this might be one of our least, ex you know, this might be an image that we're least excited about, but it's still a five star, in my opinion, in this genre. Okay. And the community gives this a 4.68. So oh, okay. it is much higher than what Very you Very high-rated shot. Oh, look at that. We've seen this image before. Yeah, so I chose this image. This is an image uh, by Brian Rogers. He's a guy that we did a tutorial with called The Hero Shot. You can check it out on fstoppers.com slash store. When he posted this picture, my mind was blown. I mean, this looks so awesome to me. The, the way that the sparklers are lighting up the shoe from the different sides, and I don't know how much of that's done in real life or how much of that's done in Photoshop just with you know color tinting or whatever, but goodness, that picture looks good. It's like the, the shoelaces and the sparkler and the lighting have a purpose. Yeah. It wasn't just thrown on there. It's like he lit the shoe or Photoshopped the shoe, however he did it you know, keeping that in mind that the sparklers would be giving off light like that. I mean, the whole front of the shoes lit that way too. I know, I know, it's so good. And I'm curious to know how he did this because we obviously did the tutorial with him. I learned a lot about how he works, but we didn't get super complicated with compositing like this image. So I think we're in talks to do another much more complex tutorial with them. And we're gonna be working on stuff like that. All right, so we're gonna rate this. Oh, sorry, we should have rated it already. Three, two, one, you probably can guess what I'm gonna give it. Okay, you only give it four. This might not be my favorite image of his. I agree with everything you just said, but I think a 4.5 is probably where this belongs. Okay. He has some really weird product shots of things I don't even know what they are, and they look super crazy to me. Yeah. And I feel like those are the fives, and this one, I mean, it's still a world-class image. <laughs> See what the community says? 4.45. So they like this one a little bit less than the bird. Hey, I understand. The bird The bird is a more exciting photograph in the sense of how difficult it was to actually capture. All right. Three, Three two, two, one. I give it four. You give it five, okay? I love the concept of this. I think, you know, it's just something totally different. Um, the Photoshop is, is incredible. And I don't normally rate images of naked guys a whole lot, but he's naked just enough. Yeah, it's the perfect so amount. If he was any more naked, I would give it a four, but. Hmm. Um, I, I, I personally cannot give this a five. One thing in particular, I feel like the model's face is oddly dead to me. And I think that's kind of the vibe of this shot, but something about it just doesn't feel quite right. Imagine if this was a movie poster or something Unless he was supposed to be a, a turned off cyborg or something, I would, I'd would i want a little bit more emotion out of his face. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, still an incredible, incredible shot by all means. I give it four stars, but uh, in terms of world class, I personally am not gonna go I that far. I can kind of see that now that you bring it up. Um, so in our rating, like five is a world class image, maybe even memorable or un unmistakable. Yeah, and like this image I'll always remember just because of the, the texture of it, the nature of it, the context of it. Um, but I can see what you're saying about his expression. Maybe even his hands, or he's doing, he could have a little more energy in him. Let's see what the community rates it. 4.26, so closer to the four end, but still, it's got a little bit of star in the five, mm -hmm. and that's about as high of a rating as you can get. If you have anything past four, I count that as a five star. Yeah. Range. 
Okay, I've definitely seen this image before. It's funny. I uh, This was one that I submitted to David to put in here. I don't know that I'd seen this before today. Yeah. Well, this is one that you and I both chose. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one. Five stars. We agree for once. Yeah. Um, you know, this isn't the most beautiful photograph by any means. But that's why it's so cool. Yeah. There's so much going on here. It's... It feels like the movie Seven or something. Yeah, or Memento, or yeah, one of those those movies where the guy's neurotic. You know, it's yeah. like everything is dirty, but yet he's clearly a photographer doing something in the dark room. But then, you know, his place is a wreck, and it gives you like this vibe of like I would not want to be in that room. But you know, it's kind of Fight Clubish too. Like something's going on. That's I'm very curious to hear the story of how this was taken because it. It feels like this was an incredible amount of work to take this picture, or this is actually how you live. And this is just a portrait of your house. Like, could that be the photographer? It's like a... I don't know, but I mean, when you look at this setup, I mean, there's, a, there's like a kitchen and then a bathtub right next to the kitchen. <laughs> it makes no sense. You um, don't want to live that way? I don't want to live that way, but for this photograph, it's, that like it's a, unbelievable. like a vice grip right next to the plates? Yeah, like nothing about this scene really makes sense in reality, but, you know, I could see somebody somewhere living like this. But Or this is like an abandoned building that doesn't make sense, and it's like the lowest, you know. But it makes, it makes sense enough that I feel like you couldn't just randomly come upon this. And somebody not live in this, you know what I mean? Like, in the right-hand corner is the toilet. So if you were to use that toilet, you'd yeah. be exposed to the dining area yeah. and the kitchen. Yeah, it's, it's wild. This uh, this guy's whole portfolio is great. So if you guys are watching, definitely click on it because a lot of his images are like this where it's all of these weird lighting schemes and a lot of mood and a lot of color. And, and let me tell you, if you're watching this on YouTube, click over to the post on F-Stoppers and that will have the links to all of the photographers where you can actually see their portfolios. Um, that might be a little easier Because one for thing you. that's interesting about this is most people that get four and five star images, it's not one lucky image. Every mm -hmm. now and then that happens, but most of these portfolios are going to be incredible yes. all the way through. Yes. Community gives this a 4.32. Cool. Are you ready? I am ready. Three, two, one. Five stars. Did you pick this one or just me? I did. Yeah. Um, I was so we trying both to get this one. I was trying to get some variety, and I absolutely love the Red Bull Illum series, mm -hmm. and this kind of had that same vibe. I don't know that it's the craziest action, but when you look at the the wave and the movement and the black and white conversion the and the sky, what's going on with this lighting? I I keep trying to figure out where is the sun? Is the sun like right before setting or right before rising? I mean, the sun's got to be off to the right, right? I know, but it just the way this wave is being lit feels so surreal. And this image has just I mean, always stood out to if me. If you zoom in here where the waves actually crashing, it seems like the sun is just kind of up here casting down. I mean, you see the shadow on him. But with an image like this, you can dodge and burn this like crazy. Well, that, where yeah. You can make your highlights look however you want. I would I would be interested to see what this looked like straight out of camera because uh, whatever you did conversion-wise, so good. I just love sports pictures like this. And, and going back to the Red Bull <clears throat> Loom, a lot of it is almost like landscape photography Yes, that has some element of extreme sports in it. And this image to me just really stood out. Glad this made the critique. So 4.59. That's one, one of the, the highest, highest ones we've had yet. Yeah. All right. This is number seven. Congratulations. You have gotten a free tutorial. And I think uh, we've actually critiqued this image before. What, ha what happens if we gave them the <laughs> tutorial last <laughs> they time? They get another tutorial. Wow. That's the way it works. It's totally random. Yeah, we definitely have seen this image. Oh, boy. Did you put this one back in here? You don't like this one? I like it, but I just remember we critiqued this, and this was uh, an image that we kind of argued about. <laughs> and now I have to remember what yeah, I gave Yeah, or it. else you're <laughs> full of shit if you don't rate it the exact same as the last critique. Okay. Three, two, one. Four. Give it five, you give it four. Um, this is the car that I gave my dad a couple of Christmases ago. You can find that video on YouTube. Um, 
it, not the actual car, but the I do Camaros. Like, I do like this picture better than the one that, that, that I took. you took. You did one underneath like a, like a gas station and made it a little more studio looking, and I, I did like that one. Mm -hmm. The other one, I mean, I like the other one too, but it was just like so over the top. You're just trying to be an asshole, I understand. Yeah. Um, yeah, this shot to me is super cool. I love the location. And then the fact that they've added the motion blur, maybe professional car photographers are gonna cringe and go, oh, it's too much. Um, I'm not in the car photography world, so I don't, I don't know if this is cliche or not, but I just feel like this image has been done really well. I agree. <laughs> That's all you got to say, huh? I mean, we critique this already. If they want to watch this, <laughs> you should go to the car one. All right, that's fair. 4.19. So four is a more accurate rating on that one. <laughs> I know we've seen this before. Did you see, was this part of your critique of like logos and stuff? I don't think so. Anyway, let's rate it. Three, two, one. I'm going five stars too. I mean, this is, the concept is so good. Yeah. The execution is so good. And it just pops. Like, this is something you would see in so many advertisements. You're in the subway of New York and, like, the new donut shop or something about being sluggish all day and you need to, you know, change your diet. <laughs> I don't know what it would represent, but it's... Uh, do, do slugs have... Or snails? This is a snail. Do they have <laughs> eyes? Like, is he looking away or are the eyes on the top? It goes back to that first image. Should the model be looking at the camera or away? I don't know. I don't, I don't even know if, if he is or not, or she, it. <laughs> What's cool about this photograph for people looking is just how simple it would be to create this. Maybe. You, you know what I mean? I mean, the hardest part is taking the picture of the slug or whatever that animal is, snail, I don't know. Um, maybe, maybe they got that picture on a stock website and then took a picture of a donut and put it together. I don't yeah. know. But we've recently met a lot of people who do this type of uh, juxtaposing and like. Well, I was just gonna say Photoshop slash photography work, where you know they're not really just photographers; they're kind of digital artists. But people like make a lot of money doing this kind of thing, and I just I don't think there's anything super technical about this. I just think yeah, it's done really well. It's just cleanly done, and it's all about the concept. Like coming mm -hmm. up with that idea is kind of the like million dollar idea, and they, they pulled it off really well. And when I first saw this image, I mean, you, did you pick this? No. I, I picked this, okay. but I didn't know if you picked it as well. Like, this just jumped off the page, and I was like, that's pretty cool. And the community appreciates it, too. It's a solid, excellent image. 4.32. Are you ready? I think so. Three, two, one. Five stars, we agree. I picked this one. I don't know if you did. Mm -mm. I don't think I've ever seen this picture before today. We just yeah. had to go on the F-Stoppers community and pick, uh, David asked us each to pick 15 pictures that we would rate five stars. And uh, I just ran across this one and went, that's incredible. I'm this, throwing it this in. This genre of photography, and, and what is Mike Kelly? He has a name for it. It's like manufactured sadness or... Well, I, I don't, don't know that. Like, yeah, that's not this. That's at all. not what this is, but it's the idea of these like crazy gowns in the field of flowers. It's like this over the top fantasy sort of thing. is It's super popular right now. Okay. And I feel like a lot of it is done really poorly. There are okay. so many photographers doing this sort of stuff, but then to see an image like this where everything's just lit so cleanly and. The color's great, the execution's great, the model's great, the wardrobe. Like, everything about this is, is world-class, but this genre, whatever that is called, mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. It's been happening for, like, the last four or five years. Um, falls short, in my opinion, many times, where this, this really excels. Yeah, I mean, everything about this is excellent. Where do you think you even get a dress like that? I don't know where you get any of this stuff like this. I don't, I don't know where like there's coral flowers something. like that. I don't know. Well done. If Katie wore this dress, what would your equivalent outfit have to look like? If Katie's you were to my show, wife. If you were to show up at a party and she's dressed like that, how are and you And I dressed? can't let her outdo me? Yeah. Space boots? Space boots? You have to be like in a space outfit? <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. Community says 4.5. 
Now this image has obviously been uploaded at a very low resolution. So mm -hmm. it looks bad on our monitor. It, I think it looks bad on the website, but um, this is a very common, like we've worked with a lot of photographers or retouchers that do this kind of style. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This looks like something out of like a Visa ad. Or, yeah. You ready to vote? I am. Three, two, one. Yeah, I'm going five stars too on this one. Um, I don't know that I've seen this before on the community, but uh, it's just so polished. You know, everything about this is perfect and that's why we feel so comfortable saying this could be on a Visa ad because this is the type of work that's getting published. And if you can figure out a way to do this, and a lot of times when you see the before pictures of what people are working with to create stuff like this, yeah. it's almost like snapshots, nothing looks good. And then they start putting it together, they start color grading everything, and then boom, they come up with this shot that looks so incredible. So, uh, well done again. Another thing that's interesting about this image is it's not totally over the top. On the left here, you just have a very simple tree there's no crazy background. It, it just gives you enough context to make it really come together, you know? Yeah, yeah, I mean. I mean, you could add like a whole kingdom back there and more trees and it just become a little too much, but I like how simple it is. I agree. It actually took me a while to notice that the elephant is taking their picture. Oh, I didn't know that. So it's like. A, even better, yeah. even better. Community gives this. A uh, 4.37. This picture is so incredible. Have you seen this? I, I put this. Did you pick load yeah, this one in here? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Three, two, one. I think it's pretty obvious. We both give this five. This is probably my favorite picture in the entire community. This picture, every time I see the thumbnail for this picture, I click on it. Every time. I just, I keep coming back to it and going, oh my gosh, this is so cool. These, the little sparklers and like. Yeah, ah, oh, I, I am so jealous. Like this, <laughs> I, I look at this picture more than any other picture on the website. And this picture probably makes me want to quit photography more than any other picture on the website because it's so awesome. Yeah, and I just, I want to know how they did this. Like, you know, they, they shot sparklers and then blew them up and blurred them for the ones in the background and then they left them small and sharp in the foreground and just everything's done so well. The color grading and the lighting, it, you know, it just looks like a, a cool, like I could imagine 10 of these for each character in a Marvel oh, comic know, movie, you know, know, and you're just like, whoa. It would, be be it would be better than any Marvel movie poster I've seen, you know, if they, if they shot in this style. Yeah. So goodness, well done with this. And I would, if, if you're willing to share, I'd love to see how you made this and what the what the starting image looked like. I mean, what do you think there's any way that this photographer took this without any sort of gels or anything and this was all just done in Photoshop? I think I've seen more of his images and so I don't, I think he shot this with gels, but maybe that's his style. He photoshops everything <laughs> that way. But I mean, to, to color grade this with just normal flash, I think would be really difficult. Let us know how you did it. We love it. Your top image of all time has a 4.42 rating. Can't please everybody. Did you choose this one? I chose I this one. I did. Oh, well, this right. reminds me. We have me similar of, taste. I, like this was like very subdued and different and I like it a lot. Are we both gonna give this five this stars? Is, this is a five. <laughs> so the reason why I specifically chose this one was because I was afraid People who are watching this were going to see all the other images that I chose and go, man, Lee only likes things that are Photoshopped to hell. He doesn't really like photography at all. And I was gonna say, aha, uh -huh. well look at this one because there's so much going on with this image and there's nothing complicated about it at all. Um, and this is another image that I've probably clicked on a hundred times. Uh, this reminds me of an image you've now taken twice. Here yeah. in the studio, you, you did the one with the crazy hair. It, just the hair movement kind of gives it that and, vibe. And I mean, when I think about the amount of work that I put into my crazy hair shot, and then I look at this, and this isn't as polished as my shot. This this just feels so much more natural and simple. Just one and light, I, And I like this better. So Just one soft box coming down. Yeah. And then boom, just nails it. Like really, really cool. Composition, super interesting too. Very odd crop into the middle of the forehead like that. But... um. It works. 
4.25. I feel like we're getting a lot of variety. Yeah, I, try, I tried to pick a totally random group of photos in different genres. Are you ready? Oh. Three, two, one. I give this one five. <clears throat> I, I can see that. Um, in terms of the wedding genre, this is really, really cool and different. Um, I don't know what it takes for me to put this over the top to a five. Like, I feel like, I don't know if I like the little lights on the bottom. They almost look mm, like... I hadn't even really noticed them until now. They almost mm. look like fireflies, but they're not. Mm -hmm. It's just something very different, you know, to have all of the silhouette as the main subject matter and then ha them in the middle and the nice purple light coming through. Like, it's cool. It's, I mean, it's, it's a great image. So It's one of the be better wedding pictures probably on the whole site. Yeah, the interesting thing about weddings is wedding photography can be very trendy based on the style of the photograph, but also very much on the way the couple is dressed. And so, or the location of their venue. Yeah, stuff like that. And so things will go out of style very quickly. So a photograph that looks good this year and five years might look old, especially to brides. They notice that stuff trends, even more than, yeah. than I would. But a photograph like this is so timeless because it's the silhouette of this couple. And I just feel like this transcends weddings. It's not, it obviously is a wedding photograph because of the veil, but there's just something interesting about this that goes beyond that for me. And that's why I give this five stars, but you know, it's not the most mind blowing technical image. Yeah. And this is one of those pictures that you could put on your wall or put in a frame and you don't feel like you're staring at yourself on your wedding day. Exactly. I yeah. find that to be a little weird even though we did wedding photography for a long time is if you had this formal of the two of you, yeah. you know, and you're like, I don't know, it's it's a little, it's always been a little strange for me. Maybe even the bridal portrait is a little more strange than that. Yeah. But this, it almost looks like an adventure photo. Like it looks like a fairy or tale. Or, yeah, yeah, and you're just like, oh cool, like that picture is awesome. As opposed to like, oh, you guys look so good on your wedding day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That happened 20 years ago, you know, or whatever. Community says 4.44. That's cool that the community gave it such a high rating. Yeah, I'm surprised the community rated that so highly. Let me see this. You chose this one? Yes. All right, ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Four, five. I love this. Um, I feel like this is just... It goes. It kind of goes back to the snail with the donut. Mm -hmm. It's not executed as cleanly as that, but it's just it's quirky and weird. But it's done well, and I feel like maybe I'm. I see a lot of photographers that would get these models and they're naked and they have the crazy stuff, and then it would just be like model mayhem porn, and you're like, this is gross, and like, <laughs> who's gonna hire you to do this? Yeah. But when I see this, I feel like it has enough of a concept that. I could imagine a series of these or something, and I feel like it's it's interesting. I don't say interesting enough, but it's it's a standout image. Like I will remember this image forever because of the extra attention they went to to kind of put them in the capsule and then execute the the overall idea. Okay, it's it's not really my type of thing. I feel like it's an interesting concept. I feel like the retouching for me might be a little harsh, and then the uh, what retouching do you? Well, you know, this isn't the highest rated image, but it just looks like the retouching on the girls is very heavy. Oh, I see. Yeah, very I don't even know handed. if I got into zooming in that far. Um, and then when I look at the background, um, I think this image could be better with a different not non-seamless background. I think, you know, if it was sitting on a shelf somewhere, that mm. could be really interesting. Or if it was sitting out in nature, I think that could be really interesting. But it's just kind of sitting on the seamless. I don't know. It's still still very interesting uh, photograph. Let's see what the community gives it. Four point four nine. So very highly rated by the community. Next up. Oh my gosh, this is awful. <laughs> How did that make it? Is this Elia Licardi's top rated image of all time? I think it is. Yeah. I think it is. And I think it's my favorite image that Elia has taken as well. So I chose this to be in there. Three, two, one. I'm in between a four and a five on this one. I Maybe this image stands out to me because 
This is the first image I saw of Elias ever. I think this was the first image on his website when I first met him, and I just, I had never seen anything like this in real life. Obviously, since then, I've traveled the world with Elias, and I've gotten to see some amazing places in real life, so I don't know if this photograph is quite as impressive to me as it once was, but it's still pretty freaking amazing. What I find interesting about this image is the lighting on these mountains is unbelievable. I mean, when you zoom in, it's just so cool. But then as you start looking below the cloud line, it almost looks like the ground is right there, and it makes you think that maybe these mountains aren't as tall as you would think. When you see the cloud cover, my mind thinks like, man, you're way up at like the highest altitudes of the world. Mm -hmm. But maybe these, these mountains or volcanoes aren't really that high to begin with, you're actually above them at the vantage point that he's at. And I, I just love the, everything about it, the foreground and the, uh, the lighting on the, the craters. And then usually stars like this, I'm not a huge fan of. I've said that in the past. But he does the star trails, and with you looking straight either north or south, I don't know which direction that is, but I think it really just, the, the, the foreground is so strong that it doesn't feel like a gimmick where I'm having to use the stars to make this image work. I feel like, Everything's just balanced so perfectly. Yeah. Let's see what the community says. All right, community gives it... 4.65. Ooh, is this the highest rated image so far? It, it may be. I think it is. For the longest time, this was the top image on the entire community. Mm. If you go to our community, you can actually hit the uh, highest rated tab, and it will show you the top rated images on the site. And if you guys are interested, Photographing the World literally just came out yesterday, and uh, the behind the scenes it just got released today, episode one. So we're going to start releasing episodes of how we film the entire thing. All right, next up. Are you ready? I am. <clears throat> Three, two, one, five. We agree. Did you choose this one? I did. Oh, so did I. Um, I mean, it's just, it's so cool. <laughs> the location's amazing. The fact that they put the smoke in there and backlit it really brings this whole thing together. The model looks great. Her pose looks amazing. She's She's got the perfect outfit with the feather thing. I mean, it's just, it's a world-class image. Yeah, and there's so many little things. I mean, it's obviously strobed and lit, but it doesn't feel overly lit. Yes. But then the light's also causing all the reflections in the seats behind her. Um, you also have this light kind of creeping in on the right-hand side, coming down to light all the chairs. So there's a lot going on, but you just look at it, and the most powerful light is the backlight, and it it just ties everything together really well. And then there's also her. I mean, she's got this expression like maybe she's been dancing all day and she's exhausted. It, there's like a story element mm -hmm. of that where a lot of the images don't really have stories. At least a lot of the stuff we cr critique, it's just like hot girl with like strobes. <laughs> all right. And it didn't, the thought didn't really go beyond that. And I feel like to have the, I don't even know what this is, like some kind of prop. <laughs> like feather prop thing. Just the way everything's placed in this image, I just feel like it's balanced perfectly. Let's see what the community says. 4.6. So it's almost tied for Alaya there. What was Alaya? I think it was a 4.64. 4.65. I okay. don't know why it gives you that extra decimal spot, but. Are you ready? Yep. Three, two, one, five stars. I don't even know what the hell I'm looking at here, but I, I give this five stars instantly. I know what I'm looking at. What are you looking at? This is the outfit that you have to wear when Katie wears <laughs> the other one. This is it. You show up like that. She shows up like that. Mm -hmm. It's a match made in heaven. And the birds come with the suit. They yeah. follow me around yeah. as I wear the suit. Yeah. This is just on a different level. This is somebody <laughs> who has this conceptual you know, mindset and they, they know exactly what they're setting out to do. I feel like in some ways this is kind of like the highest level of fine art photography. Did like, you choose this? I did. Oh, so did I. Okay. Um, Everything, the birds, the, the, the position of the birds. I don't even know if you just sit and take bird shots all day and then you go and pick out your perfect ones. They're like back there all blurry too. It's got this... Uh, <laughs> What's yeah. what's your what's the movie you love so much? Interstellar. It's got yeah this interstellar vibe of like. And, but then notice also the the condensation and reflection off the face screen. Yeah. 
that that is pulling this whole thing together. Can you imagine if you could just see the person in there? It would lose so much yeah. in this image. And uh, I wouldn't even have ever thought to do that. But I, I feel like that one decision is kind of making this entire thing. And then, yeah, I don't know where they got the birds from. And how do they get the birds, the lighting to look this Similar. even? Yeah. yeah. And then just the commentary on it. It's almost like here is this person from another planet on the planet of the birds. And the birds are recognizing that, like, that person has something that they need. Like, they're flocking to this human, you know? I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but I'm just sure. saying, like, birds never fly to people. Like, they would never do this unless you're feeding them. Okay. So I just, I get this vibe that, like, the birds recognize that there's this alien on their planet. Uh-huh. And it's interesting enough that they're, like, coming up to it, which is kind of the opposite of what happens. Hadn't you seen Home Alone 2 Lost in New York? Well, she's feeding the birds, oh. you know? So that if you feed them... He's not doing Other that. things that I, I really love about this image is just the styling, but it's beyond that. It's like, where do you find a helmet that looks like that? And look at this spacesuit. Like, I don't even know if this is a spacesuit. It it's not a space I mean, But I've never seen a piece of clothing that's designed like that, but it <laughs> fits mind. perfect. It, it I looks know. so cool. It's like, this is the spacesuit that Tom Cruise would, you know, wear, <laughs> or whatever. Maybe this is an aviation suit. Like, you would have this in a, in a fighter jet or something. It looks crazy even for that. So, yeah, I don't know. I love it. And then just the muted colors. This is probably my favorite image of the whole critique. Okay. This might be my favorite image of the entire community. Community gives it three, 4.36. Not quite as good as the other ones, but it's my favorite. I think I just saw this one for the first time today. Yeah? Did you choose this one? Yeah, did you? Yeah. Yeah, we've been choosing a lot of the same <laughs> Three, two, one, five stars. Um, that's badass. I, I, don't, I don't know what more to say. It feels like I never saw Ready Player One. You know, so I have two Apple TVs in my house, and uh, I'm not going to get into how it all works, but I was... For, for one TV? No, for one for my hot tub movie theater and then one for my TV. So your projector. Yeah. Okay. But I was watching something in my hot tub. Like we all do. And it was controlling my other one and I didn't know. And I accidentally purchased Ready Player One, which I have no interest in yeah. whatsoever. And I don't think I'll ever watch it, but it cost me like 20 bucks or whatever. That's all I know of the movie is I own it, but I will never watch it. This is what I feel like the movie's about. So I'm lost because why do you, how is Ready Player One even related to this image? It may not be at all, but I think Ready Player One is like the people can go into video games and have a life or something. And so yeah. this just feels to me like this guy's going into Skyrim or some game. And See, uh, this is like never ending story or something. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Um, I'm trying to, I don't even know where this is, but it's got these like cool bonsai trees that you can actually find like in Oregon, like something like that. And we just see so many images like this, especially like in the Instagram world, you know, to have that guy up there and then have his fist up that little bit of motion, that different posing makes this feel just so cool. It gives it such an energy. And then the birds, it's like, he's, he's in control of all of this crazy landscape, you know? You're not feeling me on that? No, I, I am. I, I'm just trying to think of something to add to this. I just feel like everything about this is incredible. Even if you took the guy out, it yeah. would be an amazing picture. The guy does bring it all together for me. I just I just think this is so well done. But it brings up an interesting debate, which is, you know, if you can do this with Photoshop, and almost all landscape photographers now are doing Photoshop and they are doing composites and everything, why not go crazy? Why not make it look unbelievable every single time? I, I may, Maybe this isn't even a real location. Maybe everything about this is 100% fake, but uh, it, it feels awesome to me. Somebody's going to be like, Lee, that is Italy. You guys have been there, <laughs> and you don't think that's a real location? I hope that is a real location. I hope I'm very wrong, but it feels... it. This is a compliment to the photographer. This is a real location... This looks so amazing, it's hard for me to believe. And it's also not an overly shot location, you know? Yeah, that's true You don't true see too. this, I mean, watch everybody now post that this is shot <laughs> yeah. like crazy, but 
this isn't one of those locations that at least this composition, you know, may, maybe just over the mountain, over that hill that he's standing on is the view that everybody shoots. But I feel like this feels like such an exotic place because it's not being overly shot. Community gives it 4.59. High rating. Are you ready? I am ready. Three, two, one. So I give this one five stars. I, I have to say, I feel like this photographer, and I'm trying to remember now who took this and what his portfolio looked like. I love this photograph. I might want to see a little different background composited in this just to see if you could add a little bit more interest than just the green background. But incredible job lighting these bottles, you know, beautiful water spray and uh, perspiration on all the bottles, the drink coming out of the bottles with the with the caps. I mean, this is this is done really well. I might change mine to a four. I, I understand. And the main reason I want to change it to a four is like a branding type of thing. I keep looking at the beer and I feel like the beer coming out of the top doesn't look appetizing. Hmm. It looks, be and I think it might be because it's on green. Hmm. The beer, of course, is going to be an amber yellow color. We've all had Heineken, but it just starts to look like sewer water or something. Okay. And I think from an execution standpoint, it's excellent. This is as close to a five as you could get. But if you were Heineken, I could see them saying, like, we feel like the product doesn't look refreshing. Yeah, you, you know? And then, then the photographer will be like, we'll check out this ad that I did for Heineken, and it'll be, like, on the cover of the New York Times or something yeah, <laughs> with this yeah. picture. Um, but I, I, I see what you're saying, and, and that's kind of my critique for this image as well. I would just like to see other background options, but well done overall. I think it's a great shot. But in this genre, I mean, putting a background that's the same color of the product is very... Common. Yeah, very in vogue. Community says 4.31. All right, this is the final image of the critique, and we are back to landscapes. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Four, Four stars. Yeah, this, this. Uh, I mean, it's amazing, but it's it's not unbelievable to me. I think the reason I like it is because it's not so over the top. This isn't some ultra wide angle with the mountains and the stars and it's just crazy. Mm -hmm. I just feel like this this feels like, you know, I'm, I'm waiting to see the Coca-Cola polar bears come out, you know, or this feels a little more commercial than some of the crazy landscape shots that we see. Not to take away from those, but I just, I like it. I feel like the cabin and the light coming from the cabin kind of pulls you in. There's enough stars there, but the stars haven't been photoshopped to make it look over the top. I just really like this image. I feel like it's really inviting. It's almost kind of more of a fine art type of landscape as opposed <clears throat> to some of the other ones where, like the previous one that we saw with the kid, where it's just so mind-blowing that, you know, you don't really even understand if it's real. This feels like, wow, what a beautiful place and such a crisp, clean environment. You know what, what might be bothering me a little bit is the um, the contrast of these trees with the black tree and then the white uh, snow. It feels so contrasty and so sharp. Like if I, if I look at the trees on the left side of the frame, it almost feels like I'm looking at, uh, this is going to sound stupid, but Velcro or something. It doesn't, it doesn't really, like if I, if I just showed you this little bit, I think you'd have a hard time even deciphering that as trees back there. Yeah. It just kind of looks like a fabric or something. film grain or noise or fabric or something. Like your t-shirt. It kind of looks yeah. like your t-shirt. So um, maybe that's my issue. It just doesn't feel quite as smooth and... Man, I'm having a hard time coming up with the words for what I mean. But that's nature. I mean, we've seen some that, trees that, where that, you're like, remember we were in Chile? Well, yeah. And we see these trees that, I mean, they're like sideways but perfectly manicured. And you're like, that's a render from a video game. It was weird. That's true. Th this, this does not feel natural to me. And maybe it is natural, so it's not a fair critique. But it feels like 
too much contrast has been added or something. And so it just doesn't feel quite as inviting as I would imagine snow covered trees would be. But at the same time, I mean, I'm still giving it four stars. It's still an excellent image to me. And I think if I had to say something is distracting me in this image, and there's no way to really get around it, it's the boardwalk. You know, if this house was there and you just had the nice snow going into the trees, hmm. I think like there's nowhere for me to push this image further than a five, but maybe it's a stronger five. But, you know, again, you can't control it's, that. It's, it's not a real, yeah, not yeah, a real it's, option. Yeah, it's there. So, I mean, I feel like if you have to make the composition work here, they put the camera in the right place. Maybe, well, maybe you could have kids or something not playing in the feet in front of the house having a snowball fight. And I think I think that could add a lot to this. I mean, like you said, you said it feels like you're waiting for the the Coca Cola polar bears or the Santa to come into the frame, and that makes total sense to me. So yeah, I think and with all of these images, you know, I say you should have kids having a snowball fight, and everyone's going to be like, but who travels with kids? <laughs> I mean, you could shoot them and add them in there in a way. I mean, some of these images, we have no idea what has been composited. And, like, yeah, did but... the elephant really take the photo? <laughs> That's I mean... true. Did, did the uh, snail actually live in a donut? But I, I, would, I would argue that the person who took this photograph probably isn't the type of photographer to composite things. Yeah, it's just a landscape photograph. But I really, I find this really f refreshing after seeing so many landscape photos and being in that community quite a bit. Okay, let's see what the community says and wrap this up. 4.45. Very highly rated, very highly well, this rated. This was really fun. Like I'm excited to see images where I'm like, I can't shoot that, I can't shoot that. And yeah. they're beyond anything that, you know, most of my photographer friends even do. Like this is at the highest level. Yeah, I feel uh, in a way inspired and then in another way really depressed. Really discouraged. <laughs> that my portfolio cannot compete with these guys at all. So congratulations, everybody. Uh, maybe we'll do this, you know, once every six months or something. Cause yeah, because I, think, it's, I, think, it I think people say we're so harsh, but mm -hmm. when you see these type of images, I think it should be pretty apparent of where the bar is, where the standard is, what you should aspire to be in your And, own and when we do these critiques, our goal is to rate the images based on what the market will pay for. And I feel like a lot of people who submit to the critique and who watch the critique Comment don't, on YouTube. They, yeah, they don't do this professionally and then they get mad when we comment as though they wanted to do it professionally, you know? So that's kind of where we're coming at uh, these critiques from. So just keep that in mind. And I feel like all of these people who have taken these photographs are probably professional photographers, if not incredibly talented hobbyists. Yeah. So anyway. Submit your black and white photos in the link below in the description and we will see you in another week or so.